on your nose too. It's actually really good. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Morning. I'm here on the airport in LAX. I'm on the way to New York City. I know that New York vlogs are always you guys' favorite, so <laughs> a couple like very exciting things happening and what's bringing me to New York. Tomorrow I'm visiting the US Open for the first time. Grey Goose, who is sponsoring this video and also invited me to the event, they are celebrating their 15 year anniversary being the vodka sponsor. So we're gonna go there tomorrow, which is going to be, I think, a lot of fun. I've never been, so first time after New York Fashion Week is about to start. It's really strange because like I can not even like imagine Fashion Week happening for some reason because it's been such a long time ago through the pandemic. I don't know, we shall see. I think there will be lots of events, seeing like some people and just being in town and um, yeah. It is in the morning and Jessie was just saying that she's super hungry. So normally when I'm traveling, especially now also with safety precautions, I don't really love like eating all the Lane. First, my digestion, and second, also now for like health reasons. So, I brought something. <laughs> Preparation is key. <gasps> oh my gosh! Okay, so probably besides an avocado toast, my favorite convenient food is burritos. Like, you name it, whatever ingredients, leftovers you put in a burrito, I eat it. Got some breakfast burritos. Mama Sana always prepares the food from the trunk. Not always, but sometimes. Eat. Also, we have six hours, so. So I got a burrito with eggs, spinach, feta, bacon, and zucchini. and matcha <laughs> wow this looks like a museum wow <laughs> oh my god this is so funny i mean this is crazy this is like some space shuttle hello okay perfect thank you so much just arrived in a room it looks really nice i'm pretty tired we're gonna go to sleep and wake up early so good night and shine Aww. it's so pretty here ah new york skyline last night when we arrived we obviously couldn't really see in the dark but um just woke up got ready quickly made myself obviously a morning matcha even when i'm in hotels i just like ask for some like hot water and ice i wonder what people think when i call room service and i'm like can i have hot water and a bucket of ice anyway oh ice cube in my mouth I had a hard time waking up and it just has to do with that three hour time difference with LA but yeah it's going to be fun I'm going to get changed because I'm still in my I don't even know if it is pajamas but I use it kind of as morning lounge I don't sleep in it we're gonna get ready and then I think we're gonna grab some breakfast and we're gonna go to the US Open my father is so jealous because my whole family loves tennis so they're like oh you're going I actually don't know how to get dressed because uh, I don't know, it seems like sunny outside, but with New York, you just never know because I'm inside and like, I'm like, is it warm or not? I just figured out. Anyway, mm -hmm. what are we going to wear today? Okay, I had some options. I don't know why my whole closet is blue and white, but let's see. This is like a white shirt, very tennis. 
And then I have this dress, which is very cute, but it might be a little too much. So either of these two, let's see. We are here in the stadium in Queens. The weather is perfect. It's a beautiful day. It's not too hot. Do to watch the game. Wow, this is like the first time attending a really big event in a very long time. Of I'm gonna share the recipe for the famous honey twos. Add ice to a cup, some Grey Goose vodka, lemonade, honey dew melon balls, and some raspberry liquor. If you want to try this, I will link Grey Goose vodka down below. You can also find the recipe in the description, so you can make this delicious cocktail at home. One for you, one for me. <laughs> mm. Okay, this is pretty delicious. Okay, from the moment we walked in here, I saw everyone walking around with this drink and this is the signature drink of the US Open since 15 years. It's kind of similar to the mint julep of the Kentucky Derby. What makes it signature is these honeydew melons, which represent obviously like the tennis balls of the US Open. So it's so refreshing. It's really, really good. I guess we're also kind of celebrating that this is like one of the first really big sports events after the pandemic and celebrating like the reopening of New York City, which has been on lockdown for so, so long. We need to find a Padel tennis court in LA. We played this in Croatia and it was so much fun. I thought it was like much easier than normal tennis because with tennis I feel I'm very tall. And like I feel tennis is pretty hard to learn. I feel I'm so tall and kind of clumsy and stuff and Padel tennis is like much smaller and things like that. So I think I'm gonna start doing that or do some racket. One of the girls is only 18, 19, 18, 19. It's kind of nice that we saw the whole match. They yeah. finished pretty quick in one and a half hour. But yeah, we're gonna head back to the city. Alrighty. We just got into the car. We watched like the whole match and like saw a friend and it was really fun. I would definitely come back. Got the recommendation. So we're heading back to the city now. Maybe grab a snack or something. That's the plan of today.
walked around a little bit um, went to the shop but like couldn't really find a lot of things i am going to get ready for an event tonight i'm going to meet up with my friend megan williams you have actually seen her on the channel before and then we're gonna go to a korean roid belt fashion week party which will be a lot of fun i actually don't really know yet what i'm going to wear i just took a shower and i got back into my pajamas let's see okay so there are kind of two things i was thinking of i wear a lot of black so i was thinking why don't i wear white so i have two options i got this silky kind of gown and this like blazer set i'm going to try both on and see which one i like better okay this is look number one it's like a really beautiful blazer with kind of like a waist like this and then underneath it has these like white shorts i think it's very chic like this could be really cool with like a high pony or something like that i hope it's not too cold i really do think about those things i'm always freezing so i absolutely hate when i'm cold at a party like my whole mood just like uh, goes down i don't know when i'm cold i'm just not in a good mood so i really do like this i don't know if the other one's gonna be any warmer but let me try on the other one all right this is the second option i really like this dress it has a very like open sexy bag we do have kind of like one issue because normally with these type of dresses and stuff i always wear nipple covers <laughs> because obviously you can't really wear like a bra underneath oh this is probably a really embarrassing <laughs> story uh yesterday we were like we had to run and i ordered in the wrong way and i had food in my hand i like spilled the food and we had it was super hot and it was just chaos right and I was literally in the middle of like getting a car and whatever and I literally look down and I see one of those nipple covers on the ground <laughs> like on the street and I was like oh sh this thing just like fell out of me I hope nobody saw that it just like dropped off and I was like kind of too ashamed to pick it up the street like what am I gonna do with it put it back on so I just like left it and I just walked away with just one nipple cover on um, I feel a little bit too tricky for tonight so I think I'm gonna go with the other look because it's so like clean and white I want to do more of a smoky kind of black eye type of look so yeah let's get ready oh my god the air conditioning is on and it's extremely cold oh here 65 what is that after so many years in the US oh there we go I still don't know the Fahrenheit. I know that 90s is really warm and 70s is really cold, um, but besides that, not so much. Let's get ready. Okay, but it's really funny. When I put my vlog camera down, I actually feel like the lighting in here is really good. But when I look in the mirror, I'm like, uh, I don't know if I can see the color of my foundation. But I need to find a better system for my shoulder bag too. I hope I brought enough. Uh, Products. I seriously find doing makeup more fun and fun. I just also just noticed I'm getting a little better in it. So often before events, I also get my makeup done just by professionals, but today I'm just going to do myself. order some hot water to make myself a matcha it's literally the only thing you need just some hot water thankfully they could make some here in the room let me make a quick matcha <laughs> My makeup look of today kind of did like a smoky eye with like an eyeliner and kind of like a glossy lip with these like little earrings i'm wearing this super beautiful blazer with it i have like a weird shadow going on but um it's my curtain look how pretty it is the new york skyline the cool thing is you can actually see it here in my window it's very beautiful right here 
Okay, so I actually got ready a little bit earlier because I wanted to catch some of the light to make some photos. Now, I think I'm really early. Yeah, it's 7 a.m. 7 a.m. What am I saying? It's 7 p.m. I'm going to meet Megan at like 8.30. And I'm like dressed like this already. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Watch TikTok? Anyway, um, I'm going to pack my bag soon and then we can walk. Okay, I got all dressed. So in these white shorts very chic i love it before we actually heading out i had to do one more step this is kind of a little trick and whenever you like go out i'm going to stick it right here so for example i'm wearing a really deep v but then your blazer or your dress just doesn't move you kind of get like a sexy look but everything <laughs> Everything stays in place, I would say. Instead of like double stick tape, which I used to use, this is so much better and literally a lifesaver. Just for styling in general. I sometimes use it during the day too. Sometimes when I <laughs> film videos, don't want a nip slip. So there we go. Perfect. And then I'm putting one of these in my bag just to be safe. Let's go. Yeah, and warmer. So we were debating between a spot inside and outside, but it's seriously very cold right now. So. Really cold. New York has been like unbearably hot, and it's freezing. freezing. taking a quick shower i just got home from the event and it's 1 30 a.m i haven't been like up so late in kind of i don't know like a going out scene i would say but it was a lot of fun it's kind of like hard to vlog there because there were like a lot of people but it was like a really good night it was actually a really fun day but yeah i hope you guys got a little bit of a fun like inside of my you know start of the week hope you guys watching today's video don't forget to subscribe all your support is like super super well appreciated and i will see you guys very soon Love you.